Now your next comic coming to the stage is Sassy K. Give it up. <laughs> So I was on the bus yesterday coming home from work, and I had this realization. I really, really, really love this city. I love Seattle. And like some people here, I'm a transplant from California. Um, any, anybody here from California? Represent? I am, and I'm proud of it too. Whereabouts? San Diego. The good part, all right. That's where I'm from. So I'm from this um, small suburbs just in the outskirts between Los Angeles and Orange County. And it's not even like part of the city. It's, it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's neither here nor there. Kind of like imagine, it's like that piece of real estate between your butthole and your crotch. It's a really special place. Did you know scientists came up with a name for it? the perineum. Perineum. Sounds so pretty. You'd think it was a flower. Perineum. In fact, next time someone asks me what my favorite flower is, I'm going to tell them the perineum. And I'm going to watch their face as they look it up on their phone. <laughs> but really though, like, if the perineum were a flower, what color do you think it would be? And so I started looking on the internet for like weird colors. There's this color that sounds as gross as it looks. It's called Wenge. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a fitting name for the perineum? It's like, this? Maybe a little brighter? But mine doesn't look like that. Mine would be like periwinkle blue. <laughs> with glitter on it. But um, yeah, like a few years ago, I went back home to the perineum of a city that I'm from. <laughs> and one thing that really impressed me are the playgrounds. Thank you. The playgrounds these days are amazing. They have like all these different colors. They have safety rails. I even saw this like mini rock climbing wall. And I'm like, where the fuck was that when I was a kid? <laughs> like I grew up in the 80s and 90s. Our playgrounds were like the elephant graveyard from Lion King. <laughs> we have like these rusty spines and ribs, like skyscraping. And like, we didn't play games like, imagine the floor is lava. We played games like, let's see if you can climb up the jungle jump the fastest without plummeting to their demise. <laughs> and I was definitely one of those kids destined to go extinct because we always like jumped off from the tallest thing we could find. But God made certain that I would go extinct by making me queer and trans. I will never reproduce viable offspring. But don't worry, I'm really optimistic. I keep practicing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.